Buildings make a big environmental impact on the planet, and New Zealand is no exception. The eco house concept is one way to reduce the problem. Milda has that story. Residential buildings use 13% of New Zealand's energy and close to 30% of the nation's electricity. They're also a major contributor to greenhouse gas emissions. Some people who've been aware of this major energy waste are the residents of Earthsong Eco neighborhood. Built on three acres of land in West Auckland five years ago, Earthsong is recognized as New Zealand's first sustainable co-housing with 32 homes in total. The roofs can catch around $4,500 worth of rainwater, and the solar panel can save around $1,000 per household annually. I always believe in um, living environmentally, you know, you know, try to live sustainably, but it's really difficult to do it on your own, particularly you have, when you have small children. But here you've got so many other people to work with, and you know, I've got lots of people that I could learn gardening and, you know, um, like lots of knowledge, different knowledge about the environment, which makes me feel that I'm, you know, I'm doing something about the environment even though I'm just raising family at the same time. And I don't have any relative or family here, so this is like my extended family. But every single material in these houses we've chosen very carefully um, to do with how much energy goes into making the material. Where does it come from? Is it from a sustainable source? We use natural vegetable oils on our timber and um, rammed earth is a good solid material that um, you know creates a very nice um, thermal environment inside. Uh, we collect all the rainwater into tanks and we use that in the houses uh, for the hot water, for the shower and bath and, and flush the loo. All of the groundwater we run in overland and uh, swales that are beside the paths that are planted up and so the water, the, the rainwater runoff from the site is very low. I guess it's, uh, it's been quite inexpensive living here. I don't have to use um, too much um, electric electricity for um, water heating or, or heating the whole house and things like that, so um, yeah. We just believe really strongly that if we don't look after and care for the earth and, and make uh, really informed, uh, careful choices, then we're just not going to have a planet, you know, for our children. The New Zealand Green Building Council agrees. I think New Zealand has a unique opportunity at the moment to uh, align our activity with our image of being a clean, green, beautiful country. And I think it really comes down to individual responsibility. I know the building industry is taking it seriously through the membership of the Green Building Council. There are a lot of companies that are looking at how they can go green, how they can provide better houses, better offices. Habitat for Humanity New Zealand is one non-profit organisation that has helped hundreds of low-income families to build or renovate their homes. However, going green isn't cheap in the short term. That's always been an issue for us, but I think that, that everybody's becoming aware that you know, of energy efficiency being an, an absolute must and, and, and making it environmentally friendly. Their desire to apply this philosophy to their homes inspired them to hold an open competition for architecture students across the country. Amy Chu won against 85 entries with her design called eBox. It's basically a box with no access corners, so no increase in cost. Um, there is four words, it's economic, eco-friendly, efficient and elegant. The main feature of aesthetics for this design is the solar panels, which um, these louvers here, which act as a solar design, like solar shading system. The footprint is very minimal, it's only 5 by 11 metres, so it's very, very small. Um, can be easily built by volunteers um, from Habitat by Humanity. We'll build one first to test it out to make sure that um, it meets all of those criteria, that it is going to be economical to build, energy efficient and environmentally friendly. But most particularly for us, that it is easy for volunteers to be able to build because many of the people that we get volunteering on our building project never done it, done anything in the building industry before. I would definitely love to go and help hammer it up. Um, it would be very exciting to see how difficult it is or how simple it is to be built by volunteers. So I would love to go and um, do that. <laughs>
Amy's long-term plan is to build an eco-neighborhood based on the Earth Song concept.